The Swan University of Technology Solar Team won their second successive Ilanga Cup last weekend after completing a 110 laps on the four-kilometer track during the 12-hour challenge. Now, to speak more about this, we are joined by race director Rob Walker. Rob, good evening and thank you so much for your time. Welcome to Newsroom Africa. First things first, Rob, tell our viewers, give us a little bit of an insight as to what this event is about. Good evening, Lebo. Thank you very much for having me. So the Bridgestone Ilunga Cup is really about providing an opportunity for the student teams, 90% uh, of them are student teams, uh, to design, build, and then compete with experimental solar vehicles uh, on a 12-hour endurance track. So for our viewers who are familiar with events such as like Le Mans, where it's 24 hours, very similar concept. Uh, the teams start on at 6 o'clock in the morning, and they compete continuously until 6 o'clock that evening, uh, and the team that racks up the most number of kilometers, as you mentioned, uh, the Tswani University of Technology did a staggering 110 kilometers over 12 hours, or 110 laps, I should say, over 12 hours. It's about 445 kilometers, um, they, they, and, they, and they emerged victorious at this year's Bridgestone Ilunga Cup. Now, you had five groups of renewable technology engineers at this year's event. Are there any plans to have a, a few more in the next edition? So we've, we've grown from strength to strength. Uh, we were expecting about seven teams to arrive this year. Unfortunately, two of our teams uh, just weren't able to get their vehicles uh, track ready. But we, we know of another four that are already building uh, in anticipation for next year's event. So we're expecting uh, 10, maybe 11 vehicles on the road. And if you consider the number of universities in South Africa that have the facilities to, to build vehicles of this type, uh, it's an incredibly high percentage of our tertiary institutions that are then competing uh, in the Bridgestone Ilunga Cup next year. So we're, we've seen uh, d basically double growth year on year, and we're hoping again for that for next year to get us into that 10, maybe 11 uh, teams, which would make it a very interesting uh, challenge next year. Now, we've touched on TUT being uh, winners, obviously, for the second time, but take us through some of the teams that you had this year. So right behind TUT, uh, we had a high school team called Genuine JV out of North Pretoria, um, as well as a privateer team from Mpumalanga called the Solar Flares, uh, which is something we are seeing a bit more of, uh, more and more of the privateer teams. Uh, then we also had in our cruiser class, which is a class uh, where we're trying to grow as well, which is multi-occupant vehicles. Uh, so the, the vehicles that you see, you know, mostly on, if you Google solar cars, are these rocket ship looking spaceship designs. Um, most people couldn't envisage driving that on the highway. Our cruiser class vehicles are, are really vehicles that start to bring us closer to the ultimate goal, which is a renewable energy vehicle uh, on the road. So in that class, we had UNISA competing as well as a team of private engineers out of Secunda uh, called EVNXT. Um, so those are the five teams that we had competing this year. Uh, it, it's good. It's great for us to see more interest in the cruiser class. Uh, that's where we start to see the technology really resembling vehicles that the general public would uh, would say, okay, well, this is something that we could drive. You know, it's got doors and it's got a boot and it's got more than one seat. Um, whereas our our Challenger class, which is those rocket ship design things, uh, those are really experimental vehicles. So those are the vehicles where it's single, single occupancy um, and efficiency is the name of the game. Driver comfort is the least important thing. Um, it's all about making that vehicle as efficient as possible to run as far as possible. All right, uh, Rob, let's leave it there. Thank you so much for giving us your time today and giving us also uh, an insight as to that Ilanga Cup that, uh, that was taking place last weekend and also won by the solar team from TUT.